Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the author of What is WebSphere in the Exam Scam series of certification guides for WebSphere and the Uncertified Java Associates exam. I'm also the webmaster of pulpjava.com and uh, examscam.com as well. So uh, please head over to my website and, uh, and uh, charge a couple of books to your boss. I'd certainly appreciate it. Anyways, I wanted to show you just uh, working with a JUnit test here. I've actually got a Java bean. It's a nice Java bean. It's serializable. It's got an instance variable that's private. A few public business methods along with setters and getter methods. Actually, there's no setter method here. We're set, but not quite a setter. But anyways, it's a good solid Java bean. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to create a JUnit test for it. Now, you probably should make your JUnit test before you create your classes. Um, but uh, I'm going to put this a little bit backwards and create my JUnit test case after creating the class. And essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a test case for the setup and teardown method. The test is going to be on the timer. And I'm going to put the test actually in a separate package. You usually kind of create a sub package for your test so that your test cases don't get deployed with your actual code. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my timer and I'm going to test the start start, or sorry, test the start method, get a lapse time method, and the reset method as well. There's no need to test every single method, just the important methods that, uh, that you think actually make sense. So anyways, I've uh, created my little JUnit test class, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just kind of do a little bit of magic here. Bear with me just for a second. And I'm actually going to throw some of my own code into this class. So let's see how well this works. There we go. Okay, so I've just kind of sped things up here just a little bit. But essentially what I've done is I've added my own code um, to this particular test case. Here's what I've done. I've declared an instance of my timer, timer t. I've made sure that an import statement or com.examscam.timer is available. Created a setup and a teardown method. Now, the setup method allows you to initialize that instance variable, and this will get called before all of your test methods. Then after your test methods, you can tear down the instance that you created. So this just allows you to do setup and tear down before every test method is called. And as a result, in your test methods, you can just focus on doing assertions. So I've decided to test the start method. I've got a method called test start. What do I do is I use a special JUnit test called assert true, and I assert that the get start time method is going to return a value that's less than or equal to system.currentTimeMillies. Um, if it doesn't, there's an error. And I got a message associated with this timer isn't starting properly. Also, in the test get elapse time, I assert that the get elapse time is always greater than or equal to zero. Um, this is required. Um, time travel is not allowed in our application. That's a little error message that I work with. Um, and then finally I do a test reset method. And uh, the test reset method, I call the reset method on my timer t. That's declared as an instance variable. And uh, I make sure that the original start time is less than or equal to the actual get start time method. And I think maybe in some of my magic I, think I test the start method rather than get... I don't know. I think I may have done something a little differently there. Uh, bear with me. I'm going to save my code. I think i got a few too many braces here, perhaps not enough braces. Save my code, and I'm just going to run my timer test. So I'll right-click on timer test, say run as a JUnit test. This will run, and looks like everything is green. I had three runs, I had no failures, no failure traces, and everything is a salacious green. Now let's just say somebody comes in and accidentally hits the minus button instead of uh, in front of system.currentTimeMillies and messes up my code. They save it. They don't know they've done it. Maybe they've actually gone in and thought they could add some higher calculus here and, and improve the quality of my code. Well, um, the, th the great thing is with a, a test case done, if somebody ever comes back, maybe makes a change to your code, at the end of the day or when they check in all their code, they can rerun their JUnit test cases. And if somebody has done something to change sort of the way your code is supposed to work, your actual JUnit test case will catch it. So notice somebody's put a minus sign in front of that 
system.currentTimeMillis. I'm now getting a failure, and it's telling me that time travel is not allowed, and that there's a timer with the test get elapsed time. Developer will then come back to that timer, take a look at that get elapsed time method. Notice that there's a minus sign in front of it. Delete it, save their code, check everything in, and then probably run the timer test again. And now, as all three tests run, there are no errors. An error is like an exception. There are no failures, so all the assertions were true. And we got a great big bar of green, which I like to see. So anyways, that uh, just kind of shows you how to write a little test case um, using JUnit. Now again, you should probably write your test cases before you actually do your development. Uh, but it, gives you an idea of how this works anyways. Now as I said, please check out more resources on www.pulpjava.com or examscam.com and please, I'd really appreciate it if you went uh, went to my website and picked up one of my books. Um, if you buy them off of our website, you can buy them on Amazon as well, but if you buy them off the website, uh, you get a little bit of a discount and uh, we always have them in stock, so we ship them out the very same day, um, sometimes the next day. Anyways, thanks a lot for your attention and have fun developing WebSphere.